Don't cut things out that you like, fit them in. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm so happy to reunite with my trainer Matt, who is from Wales, aka my bestie. Hello Matt. How's it going? And today we're gonna dive into the topic of weight loss myths because I regard that there are some people might gain some fat after the Chinese New Year and we all want to lose weight in a correct way. There's gonna be loads of people doing loads of stupid shit after Chinese New Year so we're gonna make sure you stop doing it now and try and lose some fat in the normal way. But before that we're gonna do some brutal workout. Let's smash it! <laughs> 雖然我跟Matt训练很久了 Touch your shoulders to the top. Touch your shoulders, lad. Touch. Didn't touch. There we go. That's a touch. Touch. Good. Oh, 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 oh. touch. It's really good pull up. Here. It looks really good. <laughs> Stretch, lad. <laughs> 刚做三组波奥斯觉得人已经快虚脱了但是他跟我说还有一组 one more, squeeze, get your feet flat, head up. Head back. I need you to help me. You just passed to me and I'll help you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Elbows at the top. You can squeeze the elbows together, squeeze them together. More. I'm straight. Squeeze. Yeah, Straight, straight, that's better. Come on, squeeze. Come on, come on, come on, squeeze it. Good. Great. Give me a wink. Go <laughs> straight, all the way up. for the lunch. I'm gonna have Israeli style roasted cauliflower with my steak and some shrimps. What? You just 
just flip it by your bare your hand. I'm too lazy to, to fucking <laughs> use the... If I use this, I'm gonna be there like that. And, uh, fuck. I'd rather just burn myself a little bit. <laughs> Give up burning your head. The, look at the fucking fire here, man. It's gonna, it's gonna get me. It's gonna fucking get me. <laughs> Chef Matt, can you introduce this cuisine? Steak, shrimps. <laughs> I'll do that. It's good, man. You can try it first. Looks good, though. It's gonna be fucking delicious. I'm having the barbarian fist. Cooked to cooked to perfection, no? Mm. Oh no. Good for it. Yeah, it's good. Mm. <laughs> there is a lot of weight loss advice on the internet, but most of it is either proven or unproven not to work. And today, um, Matt is gonna list out five top myths or misconceptions that a lot of people will hold. The number one myth, cardio is necessary to lose fat. And Matt said it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you don't need cardio to lose fat, right? Cardio does burn calories, that's correct. So does moving around. I mean, you're burning calories every day, but you don't need cardio to lose fat. Could it speed up the process? It depends, because what you'll find is people go to the gym and do half an hour of cardio, you might burn 100 calories, but then you're tired, and one or two things might happen. You might get extra hungry because you're tired and want to eat more, or you'll probably go home and be like, well, I've done my cardio now, I'm just gonna chill out and not do much. So you actually might end up moving less than you normally would anyway. Now, I don't recommend people do cardio to lose fat. They should focus on their diet first because it doesn't matter how much cardio you do, if you're still eating too much calories, then you're not gonna lose any weight. So you should base your diet on losing fat and use the cardio for your health instead. Yeah, I think it all comes down to uh, the food, the calorie you are consuming is less than the calories you burn throughout the day. So it doesn't have to be cardio workouts. It can also be like walking there you go. or just uh, raise up your activity levels, which means that you can walk up the stairs instead of taking the elevators or just moving your body around will burn more calories for you. But I still think that doing some cardio workout can uh, speed, up, speed up the process and increasing my energy levels. But if you are really not the cardio person, I don't think you have to be worried about it. You can just uh, control your calorie intake. Yeah, you have to make sure that the food you're eating is less. Yeah. If you do do cardio and you don't calculate your food, it's not going to happen. And if you are doing cardio for fat loss, I personally, like a little bit here and there, I personally wouldn't count those calories to your deficit. I would just use it as an extra. Otherwise, what you'll end up doing is getting in a cycle of burning calories or eating something and then going to do cardio to burn it. And it's a cycle of, it's, it's never going to work. So take my advice, don't use cardio for fat loss. Use it for your health. And if you do burn a few extra calories, sweet. Number two. Carbs make me fat, especially in nights. What did you say about this? I fucking hate this one. <laughs> this is the worst. This is one of the worst ones, right? Okay. I, I've seen your meals. You seldom eat carbs, right? I eat a lot of fruit, mm. and I do eat potatoes as well. Mm. Yeah, um, but carby, noodly, ricey things. It's not my jam. That I don't like uh, it that much. I'm an Asian person, so I cannot cut off rice and noodles and i think that's totally fine even if i have a goal for weight loss i will still have a moderate amount of carbs because carbs can fill my body and i can have the energy to move around and to do more workouts for me i found that if i cut completely my carbs off i will feel deprived and like after a week and i will consume more that is what i know about myself i'm exactly the same yeah. If I try and, and it's the same with most people, right? If you try and restrict one thing, especially something that you like, 
you're gonna end up bouncing back. And then you're gonna be like, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out, no carbs, no carbs. And then one day you'll come home, you'll be a bit annoyed at work. And all of a sudden you'll smash two bags of crisps and you'll feel bad. And then you'll try and cut down again the next day. And again, it's one of those rolling cycles again. So don't cut things out that you like, fit them in however you can. Carbs, carbs don't make you fat. And people say it's because of insulin. It raises insulin and you'll store fat. Raising insulin is not a bad thing. And you still can't store calories if they're not there to store. So if you're in a calorie deficit, it doesn't matter if you eat carbs or not, you can't store extra carbs because you haven't got enough calories to do it. So it doesn't, the whole idea doesn't make any sense. At night, people think that they're gonna store them as fat. It's not. You've moving all day, you've got glycogen stores depleted in your body, the carbs you eat at night's gonna go in there, and plus, in your stomach, carbs help make serotonin, and that's the relaxing, hormone in your body that helps you go to sleep. So actually I would say eat your carbs at night if you can. But how about the choices of carbs? Are there better carbs or like mm, mm. worse carbs? This, this will depend on who you speak to. Now, I mean, I don't want to eat noodles because I'll feel tired and like uh, yeah. after it. I, I'll eat some rice sometimes. I prefer potatoes, whereas someone else will go, no, noodles are fine. The less processed something is, the better it's going to be for you in general. Number three, losing weight is a linear process. I really wanted to talk more about this because when we have a goal of weight loss, we often being so positive and optimistic about I will just lose weight gradually and I can achieve my goal in a very smooth way. But I think um, we all have some days that we can lose fast successfully but there are other days that we feel that we are stuck and even gain a little bit more and i think especially for women we have the menstrual cycle we have the menstrual cycle so it's even easier for us to fluctuate up and down storaging some water in our body so i would say that going up for one or two kilograms is actually super normal and a lot of times it's not really fast most of the conditions is water what did you say i didn't say anything it's not linear right people think i'm going to eat in a calorie deficit or i'm going to go on a diet and it's going to go down and down like yeah. this i made a few posts about this right it'll go down and it'll do this for no reason and it might even stay there for a week and most people will go, oh, fuck, it doesn't, this doesn't work. I'm going to go and do something stupid, like cut my carbs out or go and do cardio. But it's normal that this happens, depending on, yeah, your menstrual cycle. It depends on, like, how much food you ate. Salt, carbs, carb stores. Yeah, sodium. Yeah, sodium. But sodium is not bad. But I, I know my body, if I have some salty foods, then the other day, like, I will look like my face will look bigger and my weight will go up. It, it will do it, right? That's why I'm always a little bit puffy around here, because I eat a lot of salt, right? And it's the same thing with, with carbs. If you eat a bunch of carbs, every gram of carbs stores four grams of water, around four grams of water. I think when people going for a low carb diet, like the first week, what they cut down is mostly water. Pretty right? much, yeah, most of the time. Mm -hmm. most of, and they think, oh, I'm in a calorie deficit now and they stay the same and then all of a sudden it stops working. They're like, what? Yeah. This is so good before, now it doesn't work. It does work. All the diets work as long as you're eating less calories. But what should they do if they feel like totally stuck here? Well, be consistent with it. The, f the first thing to question yourself, if you're not losing weight after two weeks, is have I been consistent with my diet? And be truthful to yourself. Most people haven't. And that's why they haven't lost weight. They've, been, they've not been consistent. They've not tracked what they're doing. Myth number four. If I do a lot of sit-ups, then I will lose belly fat. Everyone wants to lose belly fat, but is the spot reduction really exist? No. No. So you can't decide where your body wants to square. This is how I put it, right? When you eat some food and you store it as fat, it stores all over your body. But every person has got an area where it kind of stores a little bit more. Like it's genetics, right? It's genetics, right? So I store it here. Where do you store it? Uh, here. Here. Same as here. Okay, so it was... In my face. That's what I said. <laughs> okay, so you start it here as well, right? Okay, so I mean, everyone says, oh, I don't like the fat there, you know, but if you stored your fat here, you wouldn't like it there neither, would you? Or if you stored it on your leg here, you also wouldn't like it. So that's just the way it is, right? Now, when you start losing fat, you lose it from all over your body. So this 
Everywhere else might get skinny, but this area won't so much. Now you can't just do a load of sit-ups to try and lose the fat from there because it doesn't work like that. Unfortunately, everyone's got an area where they store it and that's just the way it is. And if you really want to lose from that area, it, it starts to get tough, man. I mean, you're going to have to be in a serious deficit. You're going to have to be doing cardio. You're going to have no sweets or chocolates, no nothing. Like it's, it's going to suck. In fact, doing a big exercise like a squat would probably be more likely to lose your weight from here because you burn more calories. Don't try and use exercise to burn fat. Use exercise to build your gym training to build muscle and your calories to lose fat and your cardio to be healthy. That's what ends. But yeah. is this possible that you can lose fat and build muscle at the same time? Yeah. Yeah. You can. I can. But it's difficult. It's difficult. Even in, in my stage, I'm not a gym newbie. In your stage now, I mean, you'd be very lucky to like to do so. It's The thing is with, with burning, I mean, a lot of people are going to argue with me about this. So men, if we eat more food, our metabolism increases, okay? With women, it doesn't really increase. So what's going to happen, as soon as you start eating over your maintenance, you're going to start putting on fat straight away. Are you saying men and women are it's different? A, it's a little bit different, yeah. It's a little bit different. How, how's the difference? So you, you, as soon as you start eating more food and going over your maintenance, you'll just start storing fat. Because your body wants to store fat, like kids and yeah. stuff like this, you know? I, I don't know the, the actual scientific how, so why. So I think the social standards is being too harsh on women. Yeah, because you're supposed to store fat in places. We are supposed to yeah, store fat. Yeah, you're not fat. supposed to be fucking like sticks, you know, bamboos. No, <laughs> you're not supposed to be. So so if you, if you want to build muscle, you can do it kind of. What you want to do is be in maintenance or maybe if you've got a lot of fat to lose you can go in a little bit deficit or maybe 50 calories over maybe that's all you're going to need you're not going to put on any more than 50 calories anyway no way are you going to do that so there's no point overeating any more than that you're just going to get fat and the calories yeah. that you eat your metabolism is not going to go yeah. and boost mine will a little bit but yours won't unfortunately yeah. me <laughs> speak properly <laughs> me five Supplements can help you lose weight or magic foods. There's no magic foods. So a lot of people think, and, there's, and it's good for the internet, like you say, eat this and, and it will help you burn fat. What we see on so many advertisements. Everywhere, right? Company. Yeah. Fucking hell. So if you said like, eat, eat, I don't know, eat carrots and you'll lose fat. Maybe because you, if you ate carrots only, then your calories would be low, so you lose fat. But it's not the fucking carrot. It's the fact you ate less calories that did that. So, you know, it doesn't boost your metabolism. I mean, there might be foods that slightly boost your metabolism, but at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with your fucking metabolism. And your metabolism doesn't break. If you're going to carry a deficit, eat less food, you start to lose fat and your metabolism slows down. It's normal. That's what's going to happen. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. Your metabolism's not broken. But you can't eat foods to then increase your metabolism. It doesn't work like that. So you prioritize your protein and your lean meats. Try and get it from food when you can because it'll make you feel full. And if you can't, get it from a protein shake. I do, I, I take protein shakes because if I can't reach my uh, protein target. But prioritize food first to make yourself full, you know? And don't worry about supplements and stuff like that until your diet's on point because it's, they're not going to make a difference unless you've got your diet sorted out for it. Yeah, my suggestion is that don't easily fall into claims or advertisements from a company <laughs> because all in all, they just want to make money. They want to make profits. And even there are a lot of scientific research. They are paid by the company. Yeah, pretty much it. <laughs> if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. I wouldn't trust it. No one will really make money from telling you eat less. Exactly. You <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they will always tell you eat this and you will lose fat. Yeah, yeah. Don't eat this and eat this instead and you will lose body fat. That's where your money, that's where the money is at, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, you got to keep it simple, but simple doesn't sell. Track your workouts, make sure you're lifting more weight over time, make sure you're eating less food over time. That's how you build muscle. That's how you lose fat. I got another question. We tell people that they have to eat less, but how did you deal with the hunger or like like starvation or they just cannot control themselves eating less? So there's a couple of things you can do, right? So number one, firstly, as I said earlier, make sure your food volume is high. Eating less calories doesn't mean eating less food. So food choices play a part, right? Yeah. So you want to pick foods that's going to make you feel full. If you're trying to eat chocolate bars or protein bars or protein chips and shit like that, you're gonna be you're gonna be fucked and by the end of the day you're gonna be screwed. If you know that you get hungry at night, don't try and starve yourself through the day. 
all right? Because that's not gonna work either. You're just gonna end up eating things at night, okay? Another thing you can do is sometimes what works is you can have a big breakfast and that'll keep you full throughout the day. Or you can also skip breakfast mm. and eat foods later on. I mean, loads of different methods. Yeah. But, but the thing with hunger is if you're in a calorie deficit, you might feel a little bit hungry. That's normal and it's okay. You know what I mean? It's just a little bit less food. It's not going to kill you. I think there are various different approaches and methods, but it all comes down to is it really fit you? Exactly. Like Matt, I know he's the guy that he will skip breakfast every day. But for me, like I'm a breakfast lover. If I skip my breakfast, then I will like, oh my God, why am I torturing no. myself? And I will have bigger meals yeah. like after then. So as I slowly understanding by myself, but it took a really long process to know about yourself, to know about your cravings, then you can create the, your approaches and it is designed by you. You cannot come from uh, others, people who claim that they're professional, including this video. If you just try all the things that the people are doing, that's not you, it's not gonna work for you. You've got to, you've got to find your own path, have you just said. You're aware of what you're eating. You know, you don't even have to count your calories. I don't count my calories very often either, but sometimes I do when I get put a little bit of weight on, I want to take a look at what I'm eating. I'll count my calories for a little bit. There's loads of ways to do it, but there's not just one way, right? You've got to find your own way. Yeah. That's for so sure. My conclusion will be thinking need a sending. Listen to your own voice and find your own way. Okay, and today I'm really appreciate for the workout and the meals and the dick talks with you. Boom. Good work. Bye bye. See ya.